Hello, this is an extremely brief introduction to a product called Samsung DeX. And what Samsung DeX is, in this case, it's a Windows app that connects via USB cable to your Samsung cell phone. And then you activate DeX on the phone and on Windows. And the end result is what you see here, this desktop. And it essentially gives you what looks like a PC in a window on your PC screen or up on your TV if you want. I am going to use the mouse and keyboard from my computer. But my computer isn't doing anything. And obviously my cell phone screen can't look like this. My cell phone is doing all of the processing and it's using memory and all that. And but this is a way to have a new computer. Um, if I want to, I can maximize the, the screen so that I essentially have access to my cell phone on my computer screen. And all of these icons are Android apps. If I click on the Google folder, all of these are Android apps. They're not Windows apps. They're not running in Windows. They're running on the phone. So if I choose to launch the Gmail app, for example, here is Gmail. And I can click on a file and it will show me the email. If I open up my Samsung browser, you'll see that it's going to open to Tech for Senior. And then I'll shrink it down and put it in a window over here. Because this is like having Windows or Linux or a Chromebook. It's actually most like a Chromebook, uh, if you think about it, because your phone and Google Chrome books are very similar. And you can have icons. These are the default icons that it puts on your desktop. The File Explorer, the Google Web Browser, um, the Photo Gallery, Samsung Email, and if you were to click on Settings, it takes you into what is essentially the settings program on your cell phone. And this will change the settings on your cell phone. I have, as you can see, along the taskbar here, you can pin applications to the taskbar. I have uh, Gmail pinned to the taskbar. I have the Brave browser on the taskbar. I have what's called Canine Mail on the taskbar. This is the email program that I use on my Samsung cell phone. This is the Samsung browser with the Tech for Senior window open. And this is the Google Maps program that is open. And as you can see, I can load Google Maps and go in full screen on my computer to Google Maps. And I can, you know, look at this. This is a restaurant in a plaza, and this is the plaza. It's taking up a quarter of my window screen. It's really cool. I will shrink that down. And in order to get to other applications, what you need to do is click on this button down here in the lower left-hand corner. It says Apps. And if I click on it, it brings me to all of my apps that I have on my cell phone. Here, this is the AccuWeather app as it runs on my cell phone and I can maximize it and it'll say restart the app. Okay, restart the app. Now I've got the weather app full screen in this window and I can take it one step further and actually make it full screen on my computer. So when I go into uh, radar, this is what I can see on my computer screen. Uh, this is the Florida radar as it is right now. This is the Android AccuWeather app that is installed on my cell phone being displayed on my Windows 11 computer.
and I have to restart the app in order to change the size. Some apps require that and some apps do not. And then if I want to, I can uh, pin it. If you want to be able to get to that app all the time, you just want to click on hold. And then you can here drag it to add it to the home screen. And now I've got the AccuWeather app on my desktop. I like to play the game of backgammon. So what I'm going to do is search for backgammon. And you'll see that when I launch backgammon mighty, it defaults to full screen because that's what I used it at last time. It remembers that I was in full screen. And you know, I can do single player and I continue as this person. And there I am. I'm playing full screen uh, backgammon on my computer, even though the, the app is actually installed on my cell phone. But as you can see from here, it's not running on my cell phone screen. My cell phone screen is just the same as it is. It's got my, it's the home page on my phone. It's merely using it as a remote terminal. Kind of like the old fashioned uh, computer days. You can drag files in and out of this program into Windows. Yes, you can do that. I can take uh, a file from my files. Let's take this guy. Let's go into downloads. And here's a picture. And can I drag it right onto my desktop? Now, you're not going to see it on my desktop because I've got all my icons hidden. But I did just move it to the desktop. You can see that it now has this icon that is reflecting that it's working. And you saw just briefly it copied the file. And so it's actually on my computer. So if you want to, you can go into your images, which are basically all of your pictures, drag whatever you want onto your desktop or into your email program. Screen capture. You can actually do a screen capture by clicking on this button here. If I take a screen capture, you'll saw that it just took a screen capture. And now I've got it and I can open it up in gallery or I can open it up probably in Google Photos. Yeah, let's open it in Google Photos just once. And there it is. There's a screen capture of my desktop in Google Photos. Isn't that neat? This is something that I imagine a lot of people would find very useful. It kind of gives you a second computer. Instead of having your cell phone sitting around doing nothing, you could actually have two computers. You know, almost like a virtual machine, only... The processing is happening on your phone, not on your computer. So anyway, I thought you might want to know about this. Yeah, this is a Windows app that comes from Samsung. You load the app on your computer. You plug your, your charging cable in between your computer and your cell phone. Uh, and as soon as you plug it in, the software will recognize that you plugged in the cable, ask you if you want to launch the desktop. It's kind of neat. This is a, uh, a unique way of utilizing uh, your phone and your, com and your computer. Because, for example, I happen to really like the email program that I have on my cell phone. Only it's small on my cell phone. Here it is running full screen on my laptop. This is my unified inbox. This is the folders for this particular account. I can click here and these are all the email accounts that I have this program checking. I've got accounts at Google, King Consulting, Microsoft, other places too. If I go into Jake's Lounge, Jake is the demonstration person for Constant Contact. Anyway, these are this is my email program that I use. And if I move my camera out of the way, 
I can click new email message. And then if I want to send a message to Huey, I just start typing your name and there it is. And I can type in your name. That's how easy this program is. It's really cool. You can add uh, a reply, separate reply to address. You can put in closed captions. You can attach files. And again, these are files that exist on your cell phone. I can add from contacts, save as draft, discard it. I'm going to go back and just say discard the message. But anyway, you get the idea. If you have a favorite program that you like to use on your phone, like your email program, for example, or maybe you like the uh, Gmail app, rather than having to go into the browser, think about it this way. I could go in and have Gmail. Let's say you really like to use the Gmail app as your email program for all of your accounts. I have, if I go over here, you'll see that I have uh, several accounts in my Gmail app on my cell phone. And so I can look at uh, all inboxes or I can switch to a specific inbox. Uh, for example, this is the Stug Meeting mailbox. You'll see, you know, here's from October, a security or a new sign-in from Windows. So if you want to, you can actually run your cell phone's Gmail app on your computer as your primary email program. You can put it in a window, use it just like any other app. You know, your phone can be sitting on your, t on your desk rather than having to go into a browser and have one browser tab for your 10 different email accounts. You can be running the Gmail app on your phone on your Windows computer that you have already configured for 10 email accounts. I can uh, read all my mail or mail from one mailbox. And again, you can compose a new message and it's going to come from the Gmail app on your cell phone. You know, as simple as that. Uh, I can type in, these are coming from my contacts. So anyway, uh, I thought you might find this interesting. Can make use of this, I think. I wish it would work wirelessly, but uh, it unfortunately does not. Uh, the phone sees the computer as a wireless device, only it doesn't work. Uh, it only works with a cable. It supports HDMI as well. So you can, uh, if you get a cable that will allow you to come out of your phone and go into and have an HDMI connector on the other end, you can plug it into a big TV screen. And then you'll need to have, obviously, a mouse and a keyboard somehow connected via Bluetooth to your TV because you're not going to have a mouse and keyboard Otherwise, I'm utilizing on my computer the mouse and keyboard for the computer. The same thing would be held true if you were to project it to your TV. Your TV needs to have a mouse and a keyboard. Um, I was able to successfully project this to my Fire Stick. I have a little connector. If I could, I don't have a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse um, to plug into my Fire Cube, but if I did, I could run my cell phone on my 60 inch TV set. That'd be pretty cool. And uh, I just don't know if I'd be able to run a Zoom meeting that way, but I might actually try it and see if I can actually go into Zoom and see myself on my, and you, you know, on my TV screen. See all you guys up on my TV screen. This is an extremely brief introduction to a product called Samsung Dex.